It's been more than a week, but some Nogales families are no closer to getting back into their homes. This after floods forced them out. Take a look at the damage the flash flood left behind. Water levels inside some homes more than three feet high, destroying everything on the ground. Look at that mess. Also destroying several flooded cars. Not in your side, Simone Del Rosario joins us now. And Simone, you travel to Nogales today. How's the cleanup? Well, some things are beyond repair. I went to Nogales today to ask city officials what went wrong and if it could have been prevented. You can see the force of the water from the flood, but it's not just a force of nature that caused this much damage. The floods tore through the border fence and a wave of water and debris flowed down the channels. These channels are used to divert the water. Now, I'm a little over five feet tall, so as you can tell, the channel's actually really deep. But two weekends ago, it was not enough to hold the water back. The flood swelled probably 11 feet in the air, flooding over this bridge, tearing through the channel wall. The water then flooded into the neighborhood, displacing dozens of families in the middle of the night. Some were even trapped inside, water up to their waist. Obviously, this isn't the first time this area is flooded. Should we have done something before? I know that uh, plans have been talked about in the past. Raul Orihel tells us he's been asking the city and county for years to fix the flooding. He says nobody has responded, nobody face to face, and now there's a hole where his floor should be. The Santa Cruz County Flood Control District started designing an area for a retention pond that would likely alleviate the flood threat for these homes. But talks just started in January. If funded, that relief is still five to six years away. Now officials are responding face to face with these residents now, trying to see what they can do to help, while organizations like the Red Cross have also stepped up to help these families, many of which do not have flood insurance. Guy Stella. Simone, thank you.